Hi everyone. Um, today I'm going to be doing a brief training on how to use Gov Delivery to send out the quarterly newsletter for environmental public health tracking. So as you may know, we send out a quarterly newsletter, um, which means in general that goes out at the end of January, the end of April, the end of July, and then again at the end of October. So currently, I think I'm the only person who has access to all of our listservs that are stored in Gov Delivery. I have requested that both Sarah and Kendra be added, um, and once Megan and our new communications and outreach employee come on board, um, you can request that they be added as well. To do that, you will want to send an email to Eldon, E L D E N, May, M A Y, with the cabinet, and he will be able to get you added. Um, it's a pretty quick turnaround. However, I do have to preface and warn you and say that there is no training for Gov Delivery at all. Um, and I have only done this once for the January 2022 newsletter. Um, so there's probably a better way to do it than the way I'm doing it, but um, better than, than no training. So the first thing I would suggest that you do is do a little bit of planning. Um, so you're going to want to kind of lay out in general what the newsletter should look like. So I'm going to pull up a previous newsletter. Let me find a copy here. OK. So here is a courtesy copy of what our last one that I put together looks like. So this is all saved as a template inside of Gov Delivery. So you don't have to make any of these headers, the colors, anything like that. But I would suggest that you go ahead and even if it's just on a Word document, start putting together the title that you're going to use for each section of the newsletter, the actual article text, such as here, and then an image to go with it. Um, I would just start from the one that I did in January. It does not have to be super fancy. I mean, this one was a pretty short one. Um, just think of it as an opportunity to say hello and goodbye to new employees or employees who have left, to highlight any big events or trainings that we have going on, and we always use it as an opportunity to try and recruit student interns. So just think if it's kind of like our elevator speech um, about our program and what we're doing. And a lot of people do read this. I get comments from people um, within DPH and at the local health departments about what was in our newsletters. People are looking at it. So that's kind of what we'll be building here. I'm not actually going to create one or send one out, um, but we'll kind of go through how to do it. So this is the landing page for Gov Delivery. You will log into Gov Delivery using your ky.gov email. And once you're logged in, it should take you to this dashboard page. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here on the left sidebar to bulletins. And you are going to basically find the last time the newsletter was sent, make a copy, and then just update the copy. So to do that, I know the last one was sent at the end of January. Um, so I picked the last 365 days. And I'm going to put tracking to try and reduce the number of results. So here we go. Here's one that Shelly had worked on. Um, we can definitely just use this one, which is completely fine. Um, we're going to copy this bulletin by hitting the copy button. And now this should look familiar. Um, this is where we're going to start actually inputting our uh, information. So a couple things to note at the top here. You always want to make sure autosave is selected. 
uh, because this will time out on you or it will just drop everything and then you have to start over. So we don't want that. We want to turn auto save on. From address, don't change this. Subject one, I wouldn't change that either. The pre header, you would want to change um, to the current date. So you would change this here. Now um, you would go in by clicking in this little box here and you can start typing. So I could break that February, whatever it is that I want to keep there. So you'll want to make that update. And I was able to do that just by clicking on April on the text itself and then just typing. And once I was done, I just clicked away. So let's say we want to change the photo here. Um, you know, the this one was highlighting our Children's Environmental Health Summit. Let's say this time we want to highlight something different as our kind of first article that we see. So to change that, I'm going to hit the image and I'm going to hit the little trash can. Are you sure you want to delete this block? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure I want to do that. I'm going to put a different image in. I'm going to go here. I hit enter, go up, insert. Actually, no, that's not what I want to do. <laughs> um, I'm back, photo. Okay, never mind. We're going to show me. We're going to go to a different section. <laughs> here, instead of deleting the image, what you'll want to do is hit choose upload. So if I want to replace the cardinal head, um, I don't know. I'm just going to pick a random one. Let's put the Instagram picture here. So these are all ones that have been uploaded to our account before. So we can pick one like that. If you have one saved on your computer that you want to upload, you would hit upload image and then you would find the name of it. So it could be something like cute dog. I don't know. This is what will show up when someone hovers over the image. So like, don't make it anything inappropriate and it should be descriptive and useful. Um, you can change the visibility. I mean, I probably just leave it for any bulletins with this template. Then if you want to use the image again in another month, you can. And then you would navigate to the image. I don't have any like images on my desktop, but and then you would hit upload there. I'm just going to pick a random one from account images here. I don't know. Let's let's stick with Instagram and then it auto replace the image. Um, if I want to change the title here to include tracking, it's great. I just clicked and typed. Here it's typing. Um, I've got some tools here at the bottom. I can increase how zoomed in on the image I am with this slider here. This option opens the text editor up at the top. That switches the orientation where the image is going to move to the left instead of the right. So that's some options there. And literally, I just work my way down through this bulletin, changing out images and text based on the reference sheet that I made in Word beforehand. I never update any of this stuff at the bottom. I leave all that alone. So let's pretend that we're done. We're really happy with how this looks. It's great. Um, we're going to hit preview to kind of see our um, kind of sample of what it'll look like in email. So, OK, this looks really cool. Um, all the images work. I like the layout. The pictures are all nice. Perfect. I love it. We're good with it. OK, so now what you'll do is and I'm, I'm not actually going to do this because when you hit the send test button, it will email you a copy of what it looks like, but it will also alert the cabinet and send them a copy of it. And since this is just a practice one, we don't want to do that. So we would hit send test and then we would enter our email address and Gov Delivery will send us a sample one. So I'm going to jump over to my email um, real quick. So for instance, you would get a sample that looks like this, right? should look exactly the same. When you get a sample and you're happy with it, you're going to forward that first um, up to Sarah. 
Sarah is not the one putting it together and ask for her approval. And if she has any suggestions or changes, then you can do the same thing with the rest of the team. Ask them if there's anything that you missed or anything that they want to change. Once everyone within tracking is on board, the next thing you're going to do, and I'm actually going to pull this one over because it has a little more useful information here. This was the test sample one that I received for the last newsletter. You can see here as test in the subject line. Um, once I got the OK from Sarah and the rest of the team, I forwarded this on to Kyra Daly in the commissioner's office and just asked her to take a look and approve that. Um, and once she got back that this is approved, we were ready to send it. What that means is we go back into Gov Delivery, go back to our bulletin, and then we're going to pick audience where you can pick what listservs you want to send it to. So there is a listserv in here that is specifically for the newsletter. So you would select that option and then review and send. And that will immediately blast the newsletter to everyone on that listserv. So I hope that is helpful. I am going to delete this bulletin um, since it was just a practice one. I, I don't want to save that. Make sure I didn't accidentally delete Shelly's here because that would make me cry. OK, it's still here. So you would do the same thing. Just copy and then make all of your updates there. So that's a really, really quick tour of gov delivery i'm sorry i can't give a more detailed training on it um, you can always reach out to eldon may for more guidance or janie cambron she's used it quite a bit for different projects and you can also contact me or shelly canada if you have questions or need additional help thanks so much bye, -bye.